Hello everyone, today is Tuesday, March 27th. Hope you're all doing well. What we're looking at right now is my handy dandy lightweight ultra portable hunting tripod. These things come in 10 foot height and 11 foot 6. Now that height is measured at the hunter's eyes. We're looking at the 11 foot 6 right now. It's a wonderful way to hunt. You can uh, get it in and get it out and move to another location on the same day and be there within a few minutes. Gives you portability and silence. And uh, I sell these by the way. So if you're curious about these and want more details, just jump on backcountryjournal.com. That's backcountryjournal.com. We're gonna go in for a closer look. I'm not actually gonna get up in it because it's a two-handed operation and I've got the camera on one hand. Also, there was some snow up on that seat that I just pushed off of there, and the seat's still very wet. Too wet that I, that I don't want to sit in it. So let's, go in, let's move in for a closer look. Now, as you can see, this, this tripod has the optional double steps. The standard tripod has alternating steps. So there's one step on the left, the next step up would be on the right, the next step up would be on the left. I call those the whippersnapper steps. So if you're a young whippersnapper, you can get up and down these things real easy. Don't spend the extra money on the optional double steps, but if you're someone like me who's a little older, a little heavier, maybe your mobility isn't good, you're not good with heights, it can be nice to have the double steps. Let's take a look at what that would look like. So, this is how a double step person would climb. I'm having a hard time seeing the viewfinder here, I apologize. And then, of course, a whippersnapper would climb one foot like this, and then the next foot like that. So if you're a whippersnapper, don't spend the extra money on the double steps. If you aren't a whippersnapper, if you're a former whippersnapper like me, or a recovering whippersnapper, you may want to spend the extra few bucks for the double steps. All right, so now we're up here. This is the foot rail. So you're never going to stand on this thing, and you don't have to, because you're using your feet to move yourself around on this swivel chair. So you're always in a good, a good relationship ergonomically to the game that you're viewing. I'll explain what that means. Here's the release for the uh, swivel. So now this thing swivels 360 degrees, so wherever the game is, you can slowly and silently swivel using your toes. It'll be pointed in the right direction for an ergonomic shot. And it's got the shooting rail, which is removable. If you're wanting to do archery, this whole Thing can be removable if you just want a bare chair up there for archery. But if you like rifle hunting, you get the rifle rail. You can see there's still some water on that chair, otherwise, I'd be sitting in it right now. But uh, yeah, it's very portable, and as you can see, very quiet. See, Elmer Fudd would like this because he likes to say, Be very, very quiet. I can't do an Elmer Fudd voice, I wish I could, but he would love this. Because if it were squeaky, he would be—he would have to say that. Be very, very quiet. Be very, very quiet. I think that's how he said it. So anyway, this is the handy dandy, ultra lightweight, ultra portable hunting tripod. Look for it at backcountryjournal.com. That's backcountryjournal.com. If you go to that website, you'll be able to view a couple of extra videos on this tripod. You'll be able to look at pricing and availability and shipping and some of the options. You can see whether or not you want the old fart steps or the whippersnapper steps. Like I said, these are the old fart double steps. The whippersnapper steps would be alternating steps. So, so instead of two on each side, you've got one on one side, one on the other. Those are the whippersnapper steps. So you just have to look within and decide if you're a whippersnapper or an old fart like me and order your steps accordingly. I guess that's it for now, thanks for viewing. Whether you're an old fart or a whippersnapper, either way, I bid you a wonderful day, and we'll catch you on the other side.